Hello folks, I'm Rob Machado for AOPA Live. How do you make the world go around? Well, rudder will do it, especially if you misuse the rudder just prior to stalling your airplane. For instance, if this airplane is in coordinated flight, then the airplane's nose is aligned with its path through the air, and both wings are essentially moving at the same speed, therefore have the same angle of attack. If we stall in this, in this condition, both wings will stall at the same time, and the airplane will pitch forward from your nose to your toes. And unless, of course, you've made your living as a boxer, then that means this way when you're seated in the airplane, not this way. From here, you simply reduce the angle of attack and recover as you've been trained to do. But if you're just about ready to stall and add right or left rudder, then the wings suddenly have different speeds and different angles of attack at the moment of stall, resulting in one wing stalling before the other. For instance, adding left rudder results in the left wing moving back and the right wing moving forward. Now the left wing goes a little slower relative to the right wing, while the right wing speeds up relative to the left wing. If the left wing slows down, it develops less lift and it goes down. If the right wing speeds up, it develops more lift and it goes up. And here's the key point. If the wing goes down, then the relative wind strikes the wing at a larger angle and the wing's angle of attack increases. If the wing goes up, then its relative wind strikes the wing at a smaller angle and its angle of attack actually decreases. Now just imagine you're about ready to stall your airplane in straight flight and you apply a little too much left rudder or you don't compensate for the airplane's left turning tendency caused by propeller slipstream and P factor. The nose yaws to the left, the left wing moves aft, it slows down, it goes down, and its critical angle of attack reaches the critical value before the right wing, so the left wing stalls first, resulting in a spin entry to the left. Of course, the same thing would happen if you apply a little too much right rudder just prior to stall. The nose yaws to the right, the right wing moves aft, slows down, goes down, and its angle of attack reaches the critical value before the left wings, and therefore the right wing stalls first, resulting in a spin entry to the right. Now you know why it's important to keep your rudder and ailerons properly coordinated, especially when operating in the traffic pattern close to the ground where a stall and spin can send you and your airplane to the promised land. So let's take a quick flight with my friend and fellow flight instructor, Mr. Bruce Williams in his extra 300 as he demonstrates how a stall entry looks with the flight controls coordinated and uncoordinated. So go ahead and roll us into a left turn about, give me at least 45 degrees of bank. You always look now before you turn, remember. Okay, now just start pulling back. Okay, nothing much happens, right? No. Wow, nothing much at all. As long as you relax, same thing in your RV, you know, yeah. it's it's not a big deal as long as you just release that right. back pressure, right? Which is, it is, I mean, like I said, it's like, as soon as I feel the vibration, all I can do is, yep. I mean, that's basically what I want to do is release. Just, yeah, all you have to really do is just release that back pressure. And it doesn't even want to roll, you know, as long yeah. as you're coordinated, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. As you probably saw on some of the videos, however, if you aren't coordinated, then it can get exciting. Right. So, for example, we're at 4,500 now. And I'm going to roll us, I'm going to head us east and then turn us left again. And I'll show you what happens, the classic base to final, you know, skidding right. turn. So, we roll into this turn, it's like we're turning toward the runway. Yeah. Now we add a little too much left rudder, watch the nose accelerate ahead of the airplane. Or right. Start a spin. Wow. And that happens quick. And it does happen quick, and it'll happen quick in almost any airplane. You'd right. be surprised. Even in a docile 172, it can come right, right around on you. But yeah. if you unload it, you get that wing flying, then you can control the airplane. Right. Thanks, Bruce. Very well done. During my next AOPA Live video, I'll show you one very simple step that will always prevent your airplane from entering a spin. Always. So stay tuned. Until then, I'm Rob Machado for AOPA Live.